Code Blue is back in the studio on this week's All Around Music. back episode 38 yeah i should probably talk into the mic instead of to the side of it if you want yeah to you go blue back in the studio hi it's been a what episode was that it was a long two. Two. I think episode it was two, two yeah. yeah yeah something like that episode two it's yeah. gonna be back 36 you guys have come episodes a long way. later yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have come a long fucking way yeah it's kind of awesome and keeping it going yeah keeping it going that didn't make sense Keeping it going, keeping it flowing, keeping it flowing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty awesome though. Yeah, it's fun. It's been good. Keeps us away from the bar. Yeah, I can definitely see that. <laughs> Plus, you get to talk about awesome music and have cool, yeah. cool people on. Get to interact yeah. with people. Mm. Talk about one of the greatest things ever. You know, yeah. the Musacs, the Musacs, playing the Git Joes and the the Git Joes and the, and the and the Bongos and. We should get a bongo in here. We should get a bongo. We should. <laughs> Just have some guy, like random guy, sit in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever give him a name. Yeah. He just that's bongo guy. Bongo nope. Guy. See, I gave him a name. <laughs> yeah, see? Who's the that? The only rule you broke it. <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> what are you talking about? I see no one. <laughs> the bongo guy. We got to look into that. Vest and bongo guy. I wonder how much a bongo is. I Can't be too much. You would think they'd be like the forty bucks. It's like a staple of a hippie band, right? <laughs> yeah. and most hippie bands, you know, you don't think of a hippie band having a whole lot of money. That's true. Bongos right. are probably pretty. They're cheap. like, let's stretch some uh, saran wrap over this coffee can. <laughs> <laughs> Makeshift bongos. Makeshift bongos. The hippie way. That's the name. Use of my what new, you have. That's the name of my next single. Makeshift bongos. Makeshift bongos. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. And there's like not a single bongo in the song. No, not a bongo at all. <laughs> Ever. Why wasn't there a bongo? Well, it turns out the makeshift it's, it's bongos makeshift, didn't work. Yeah, it's a makeshift bongo. It just it just broke as soon as I tried to play it. As soon as I even looked at it, it was just like, nope. Not happening. It turns out it was just a bucket. <laughs> hey, buckets make good drums. Yeah. You ever seen those guys on the street that are just like beating the shit out of some buckets? Yeah. Yeah. Hell Slipknot used an old empty uh, keg. To make some of the sounds on uh, a few of their albums. Yeah, they're like, we stole it from Stomp. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting in the warehouse. <laughs> they're like, Stomp's our favorite uh, band. I forgot, just all about, I forgot all about Stomp. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw Stomp one time live. Really? It was awesome, actually. I can't yeah. talk shit about it. It, it looks awesome. like it would be awesome. <laughs> it was pretty cool. You go into yeah. it like, man, this is going to suck by then. You're no. like, yeah! Yeah, I want I want to get a trash can, man. That sounded awesome. Do they still make metal trash cans? <laughs> I need a trash can and a broom, and I'll make fucking gold. <laughs> there you go. Huh? There you go. Stomp. Is the you think they got that on Blu-ray? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blu-ray do. 4K. Stomp. Yeah. I like the high quality. <laughs> I like to see if they bought their buckets from Lowe's or Home Depot. <laughs> I want to see the rust fly off the bottom of the the metal trash can <laughs> when they hit it with a broomstick <laughs> <laughs> or shovel, whatever. Or shovel. What? Who ever thought of that? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, after that, street performers. They made a killing. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Well, you got like the naked cowboy out in yeah. New York and like the Spider Man guy. See, everybody's like, oh my God, it's just like Stomp. I love Stomp. <laughs> 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 Woo, 20 bucks. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Yeah. Stomp. 
<laughs> is that like up there with Blue Man Group? Or is Blue Man Group more superior? I think I the know. Blue Man Group is definitely more superior because they have a show in Vegas. Mm. And so yeah, was Stomp was Broadway. So, I mean, yeah. it's kind of... You know, it's, I figure if you're out in Vegas, you're making good money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to respect the Vegas money. So I does think. that mean... Well, I mean, Britney Spears is doing Vegas. Well, good for her. Well, also, <laughs> you're like, why? There's why also, is she there? She can't even sing. <laughs> that's, that's, there's also the the washed up star, pop stars and stuff. Yeah, that very Vegas true. Shows too. Very that's true. true. Uh, I guess Journey's starting to do some Vegas shows. I hear it's Steve like the, Perry didn't he just perform with Journey for the first time in like yeah. a long time? That's so, kind of yeah. awesome. I've seen Journey, but I did not see Steve Perry with Journey. I'm Damn. kind of upset about that. Yeah, hmm. I wanted to hear if he still has it. Right. Yeah. Because that would be awesome. Because like Heart, she still got it. Oh yeah. You see her today, and it's like, damn, it sends chills down your spine. But you're like, damn girl, almost, what's your number? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your digits. Yeah. You know, I would, I would throw her the D, even though she weighs more than all of us combined. <laughs> but I would definitely, yeah. I mean, she's the lead singer of Heart, for God's sake. Respect. <laughs> she talks like rock, 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 but she sings like an angel. <laughs> yeah, she talks like Cartman, but she's got the voice Wow. crazy on you. <laughs> we might get in trouble for that one. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'll just blame me. I'm the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has to take the fall. <laughs> so when's the last time you heard anything from 18 Visions? 18 Visions. Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, um, roughly about 10 years ago. Yeah. What what song was that that they did? I don't think I've ever heard anything from 18 Visions. No, they had one song that was huge there yeah. for like two months or something like that. And then they were just like, <laughs> and they just right. disappear. You know, like the typical. <laughs> they were like, one that was a good run. run. Yeah, I figured... I figured they just disappeared into the ether. <laughs> well, they uh, just released their first song in 10 years. Is it a hit? Is it good? I listened to it. It's, it's not bad. Like, hmm. like what genre would we put this in? Um, It kind of reminded me of... If you say Nickelback. No, no, <laughs> no. It Look can't... at this photograph. I can't stop looking. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of like uh, older, like... Early two thousands metal, eighteen. Videos. Ooh, yeah. Early two thousands metal. Okay, like so kind of like around oh like... four oh five era. So okay. it reminded you of older eighteen visions. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, is this? I was like, man, this reminds me of the old days. Because they haven't put out a song in ten years. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, that, so. nailed it. <laughs> yeah, nailed that one. Next, <laughs> but, let's make a song that sounds just like we used to. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's not. It sounded fresh. Okay, so it, it did sound produced. And yeah. Somebody put some money towards it? Yeah, probably too much. But they do have a new album coming out, and they signed to Rise Records. So You know who else has a new song out? That, or at least it came out last year? Orgy. Do you remember that band? What? Yes, they had a new song out, because I just found huh. it on Wait, Spotify. Wait, did, did, they, did they redo somebody else's song no, again? No, 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 no. It's new stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> it sounds like they discovered what EDM... They're like, you know that song, Blue Monday? We should redo our cover of Blue Monday. <laughs> no, it sounds like they, they went to a club and heard techno for the first time and decided oh. they wanted to go into the studio and try to make some. It's mm. wonderfully bad. <laughs> you're like, you're like, I feel it, but it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. I feel, I feel the uh, the effort that I can, went in. But I can it's feel bad. the aging of that <laughs> band through the music. They're like, it's I like, don't know what techno is, but we're gonna make to it. Trying to hop onto a boat that you've totally missed. <laughs> yeah. It's like I could totally jump five feet. Apparently, <laughs> nope. you can only jump four. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta so. love older bands. Everyone's a fan of uh, Rick and Morty. Yeah, if you're not, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, how we're they friends. were no longer friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you haven't caught the newest episode for season three, it's all about the Szechuan sauce. Goddamn oh, yeah. Szechuan sauce, Morty. I'll a pack some of that. <laughs> a pack of eleven day, legendary Szechuan sauce. I said it right the first time. I can't say it right the second <laughs> time. Just sold for nearly fifteen thousand dollars because of Rick and Morty. Yeah, I. I was, was reading the edible? article. Do what? Was it edible? Oh God, no! Well, that's McDonald's food, doesn't it? It never goes bad. I I wouldn't eat it. Have you ever seen that? I might try it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, the guy that found it bought a car. It was an older car, and he found it in the car, 
He also found the wasabi sauce too. What? Oh, wow. So he sold the Szechuan. Um, it wasn't fifteen thousand. It was actually fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars. Nice. Still, and he sold it on eBay. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Did Justin Roiland buy it? Uh, so be even better. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there be is some. <laughs> he finally got his Szechuan sauce. <laughs> but there is a petition that's going around. Oh, I signed it. And there I are, it. yeah, I did I too. Totally there it. are. Thirty-six thousand people supporting it already. Is it even good? I don't even remember. I have no idea. I, I, I feel like I missed that. Part. Hey, if, I, if Rick wants it, we all want it. Yeah, exactly. I remember Moulin Rouge. The movie wasn't that good. I didn't like. Yeah, it. didn't Eddie Murphy do like the little dragon thing? <laughs> or what? Wait, what? It was what? Mulan. 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 Yeah, yeah. Wait, what'd you say? He said Mulan it, Rouge. Oh. That, that one movie with. That's got a uh, Nicole Kidman in it. Right? Yeah, Nicole yeah. Kidman yeah, and, and uh, uh, Ewan McGregor. Yeah, I was gonna oh. say Obi Wan's in it. I thought it was yeah. for that movie. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> McDonald's made a. And you're like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I like I like musicals, and that's actually one of my favorite musicals. That's actually a pretty good musical. <laughs> well, because they they take all like songs. I'd say Rent's my favorite musical, but now everybody I, yeah. has AIDS. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. Yeah, Rent's good. Uh, Phantom of the Opera's good. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> going OG, going yep. with the Sound of Music. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, sound of Music. Yeah, I love musicals. Not not like, I don't watch Glee and shit. That shit's weird. <laughs> Glee is not a musical. Right. Glee is a corporation trying to make a musical. Wow. They're like, let's take a musical aspect idea and make yeah. it into a TV show. And put gay people all yeah. over it. Yeah. They'll love it. They'll love it. They'll Eat it up. fucking love it. Sheep. <laughs> eat it yeah eat it suck on that yeah suck on that get that it just sounds sauce. like it just smells of just you know them throwing a dartboard at every stereotype possible like let's just get the merriest gay dude we can find let's just get the, <laughs> let's get the most aretha, aretha black chick we can find you know it's just every stereotype just shoved down your throat aretha and, franklin franklin <laughs> well, they were all they were all included that's they were all included uh, yeah so I, I know we said we we made a rule we finally have a rule no will smith in the studio <laughs> <laughs> you know like yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah i mean <laughs> 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 But uh, Will Smith reportedly in talks to play Genie in the live is action Aladdin remake. This is real. Yeah. Uh, Epic Film Guys reported on this, too. Huh. Oh, my. Huh. I didn't know this was a real, like, thing. What do you, what do you think about that? I thought this was just a Facebook thing. I mean, because it's going to be Disney, so it's gonna, there's going to be singing and shit. Is he actually... Is I think he could do it. They'll probably just CGI him, won't they? And just use his well, voice I mean, it's on live top action. Of- oh, yeah. well, yeah. I guess they will probably CGI. Yeah, unless they did in Beauty yeah. and the Beast. For it being a genie, yeah. Yeah. It'll be a CGI. Character. But you're, you're replacing the role that Robin Williams played. I think Will Smith would do a good job. Yeah, I mean, it's Will Smith. He's going to do fine, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't anybody you're going to pick in, in the spot of Robin Williams is going to be a tough call. Yeah. yeah. It's Robin Big shoes. Williams. I think yeah. it's a good choice because they didn't find try to find like a comedian trying to be like Robin Williams or yeah, something. Yeah, that's a good point. Very true. I like don't think that guy should... on YouTube that almost looks like Robin Williams and almost sounds like Robin yeah. Williams. As long as they don't try but to But I don't redo... know his name. <laughs> is it so I didn't see the new Beauty and the Beast. Is it like I haven't seen same it either. script have, as yeah. the cartoon? Yeah, they did like a side by side comparison and it's like almost a hundred percent. See, I don't like it if they're gonna do Robin Williams' jokes. And uh, his comedian. Well they they'll probably go a different direction. But if it's you know what I mean, like they're gonna take the they're gonna screw Take everything that he did. Some of that was imp- a lot of that was improv. Oh yeah, and it's Robin turn, Williams. And they turn that into a script now, and then have him read that as the same jokes and same everything from the right. movie. I don't right, think, I don't think that'll work. Just with no, a little more. Would, <laughs> would, yeah, yeah, Woo! Woo! yeah. I think they're gonna have to redo the genies <laughs> part. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm interested to see how how it goes. But I think Will Smith could do his own twist on it and be good. Yeah. Yeah, so I think he could. I, th- I like Will Smith. I think, I think he's interested to see who they pick as the lead. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, or who they pick too. as you know, Mia Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's the princess? Yeah, it's probably gonna be a white guy, and then it's gonna be an outrage. White guy's gonna be the princess? No, the prince. They're gonna be Elira Aladdin. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be an outrage because they pick yeah. some white guy. They'll whitewash it like they have everything else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <But it's> Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, wow. Ghost in the Shell, you know. All that. Even oh, though my God. I never saw that, I don't even know what. The- I love the original Ghost in the Shell because I'm a freaking nerd. But <laughs> I didn't. Know I haven't was- seen the movie yet, and I want to. It's not like I they got that Ghost in the Shell on Hulu. I'm probably going to watch it this week. It's good stuff. 
The new ones on Hulu or the well, I mean original. the Ghost in the Shell, the original, the original. What is it? I, is it I, have, I have no TV idea show. what it's about. It's an anime. Yeah. Anime. It's but about a TV series or a uh, it, it both. both? Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I'd never heard there's, of it. There's been several iterations of it. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. so, I just saw that that they were stuff. complaining that they didn't pick an Asian girl. Yeah. To play. Like, why you no pick Asian? Is any of it, why you no pick Asian? <laughs> is any of the movie in is like is it, is it supposed to be set in yeah. somewhere in Asia? Yeah, yeah, it's the supposed new one? to be. It's I think it's the new one's supposed to be set in Japan or something like that or oh, something and they, similar they, to they, it. Yeah. Well, that's like freaking the Great Wall movie with uh, yeah, it's the Matt same, Damon. Yeah, yeah, it's the same stuff. <laughs> like, or the Last the Samurai hell? with Tom Cruise. You know, what it's the, the hell same is thing. going on? Yeah, yeah it's the whitewashing. Yeah. yeah, they got Matt Damon playing a guy in China for the Great Wall. But if you think about it, there's a lot of movies like that. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, the Matt Damon one. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I was like, really? Matt, Matt Damon? Damon? Matt Damon. They could have at least <laughs> picked And everybody's him. like, oh, it looks awesome. I'm like, but it, Matt Damon, Great Wall. <laughs> He's the only China. white guy yeah. in China. Yeah. Exactly. Is yeah. there like a story? Is he adopted? Uh, What's the story here? <laughs> maybe he's like an albino I I don't know. <laughs> albino <laughs> And they had that recent one with Keanu Reeves in it, too. Which one? Where he's supposed to be a samurai dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ronin? 40, Ronin yes, 43 yeah, Ronin 43 or Ronin or something. Yeah. I never saw that I one. Yeah. I, didn't see that I one. heard it was actually pretty decent. I heard it was good, too, but it's just some about those. It's not up there bad. with John Wick, though. No, John no, yeah. I still need to see John Wick, too. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm just going to wait till good. it's oh, out. Yeah, I'm yeah, waiting now. It's good stuff. I mean, because I know I'm going to want to buy it, so I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> it's a beautiful movie. I can only imagine. God, John Way more amazing. pumped for some Star Wars, though. Oh, yes. I see. I tried watching Rogue One twice now, and I haven't been able to get into it. <sighs> okay, Rogue One. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I've let, been trying let's, to watch let's it. Let's get on as Star Wars fans. Rogue One's not that good. I was bored it's watching not, it. I got bored. It's Yeah, it's not that good. It's just fun to watch. And right. It, but that's the problem. You put you slap a Star Wars name onto it, we expect greatness. But this is not what that Star Wars movie is supposed to be. How do you think the Han Solo movies are going to go? It's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be like, hey, that was fun, but who right. cares? Yeah. yeah I like, that was cool, but not I the same. I didn't need to watch it at all. Yeah. They're just, yeah. It's just movies to bridge the gap, to yeah, make exactly. more money, to, exactly. it's, to hold people over till the next movie. I'm just hoping it doesn't create a kind of you know exhaustion from star wars it's going to it's kind of like what they're doing with all the transformers it, movies transformers all or, the superhero movies or the, the avengers fast stuff. and the furious movies. yeah the f- now they're gonna do fucking spinoffs for the fast and the furious with dwayne seriously? johnson and jason statham D- uh, i keep wow. seeing on the internet vin diesel dies i hope that's a I spoiler true. and i hope somebody listening to this I asked the guy uh, it for you. <laughs> he, went, he went and saw it he went and saw it and he was like he's like it wasn't bad i was like yeah but the, i saw him drive like two cars yeah and I was like and now they're like secret agents and some shit it's like that's what i was watching uh, that it's like how they go from being like street racing thugs to yeah driving in submarines and shit i was listening to the netflix and swell guys today talk about it and he said they put a race in the beginning of the movie to remind you that the show is originally they do that with everyone (laughs) they do that with all of them that's what he said he goes the beginning of the movie they'll race a car yep so every fucking movie they do that (laughs) just just to remind you hey Remember what we used to be? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Check this out. Now we got some boring shit for you. <laughs> now we're secret agents. But he was like telling us, he was explaining the car race. And apparently Vin Diesel's like in uh, Cuba, I think, or somewhere. I think he's supposed to be Cuban. Isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he's supposed to be helping Dominic his cousin. Toretto. He's supposed to be helping his cousin or something. And he's racing his cousin. Whoa, whoa. You can't just car. introduce new family members into the movie <laughs> that late in the series. Yeah, come on. So where's continuity. he been this whole time? In, in Cuba. <laughs> but he was never in any of the other movies. I don't know. But he's supposed to be helping him with some uh, like loan shark or something. Uh, and he's he's going to race him for, the, for, for some reason, for the win. And so he uses his cousin's really crappy car, and the other guy's supposed to have like the best car in the on the island. So like every race in the movie, and, and they're talking about how in the middle of the race the car catches on fire, and he does this spin move and puts it in reverse and finishes the race in reverse with the car on fire and wins. <laughs> yeah, he's done that a couple times in the other movies, like finish the race so they, in reverse. Yeah, so they look at how cool. I he's am. like, you all seen Ricky Bobby? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I even oh care. To, I'll watch it probably. I I've mean, I've seen. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. Well, I'm not gonna pay for it. I've seen yeah. one through six. <laughs> yeah, because they had like the whole box set on sale before the other two came out, and it was like all on Blu-ray too, and it was like thirty bucks. I'm like, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and as I got deeper into it, I'm like, this is. F- 
I was like, none of this is possible. No. No. It's silly. The last one was just... Like, they went to Dubai, and they're, ridiculous. like, trying to hack this huge hotel and everything. They drive the car through the hotel. Dri- well, he's like, he goes, all right, you see that wall plate for the telephone? I need just the orange pair. Just one of them. I'm like, nope. Why? <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's not how it works. I know that's not how it works. <laughs> Oh my god. And they drive the car through the building and crash in the other building. I'm like, nope. 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 And the car's like perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm like, why do they do that? In, in reality, the movie? it would have flown yeah. out of the other building yeah. and then just straight to straight the ground. Down. Straight, <laughs> down. straight down. Straight <laughs> down. That car is too heavy. <laughs> that thing did not have wings. I mean, it probably would have hit the other building, but it wouldn't have gone through. Yeah, it wouldn't have gone through. Because it would have been towards the bottom. Yeah. And it would have just bounced off and they would all die in a fiery explosion. Like Paul Walker. Credits. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Die like fire explosion, like the dumpster fire that movie was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Newfound <coughs> Glory are partnering with Urban Outfitters for a Makes Me Sick album release event in Los Angeles. It will be held April 29th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Space, Fif- Space 1520. That's different. Nice. All you need to do is grab Come an Urban Outfitter. Space 15, <laughs> Make me sick exclusive vinyl at the store the day before, April 28th, the album release date. The event is limited to 200 people. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> got any of them vinyls? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, the show I listened to said you got these... Uh, dude, that was a month ago. I'm to, <laughs> I was trying to find the um, what was it, the Foo Fighters thing they're doing for Planned Parenthood. Oh, seven inches for Planned Parenthood? But I think I was drunk when I was looking for it, and I, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Just go to my page. It's on my page. To, to, when are they doing the vinyl? I can't remember when they're doing it. Uh, I can't remember I want to get one. Yeah. I wanted to see what Foo Fighters were putting on the vinyl. Like if it was... New stuff or what it was, but I right. That just reminded me. I wonder. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! I forgot to bring all those vinyls over. Oh shit! Yeah, fucked up. Damn it! Fail. It's all right. <laughs> we were thinking about uh, recording midweek, weren't we? Doing an all around weird. No, I was gonna say do it Friday. While since I'm off. We can oh yeah, we can just early. do both. I'll bring them then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We definitely need to get a third episode going to that. Yeah, yeah. We've been. I just I haven't been all around weird. Yeah. What, what do you guys talk, we talk about, about? Weird shit like oh, aliens yeah. and shit. Ooh. Sometimes it gets deep and we like kind of blow our like, own uh, minds. Some flat Earth theory type stuff. <laughs> well, not the no. not the Fuck stupid ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so. Oh, we were stupid. bashing them one episode, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, good. Now Fuck we talk about people. the ones that are really like actually yeah. make you think about it. Did you get that list of them I sent? Like yeah, uh, the right. theories about in space that were kind of like some of them were like where I was like I, that's scary because <laughs> it made sense. Yeah, I have to look at it again. I remember I read it. There's some good ones on there. So uh, you guys ever heard of Chon? 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 No, not Chon? No. Chon? No. Um, we should definitely check them out. Chon. They're kind of like uh, you like animals as leaders. Yeah. They're kind of like that, but more happy. I oh, guess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. They announced their new album uh, titled Honey and premiered their new song, Sleepy Tea. Honey arrives June 16th. Nice. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's like like happy metal, I guess. Happy metal. Yeah. Their their video was like all 8-bit. It was pretty cool. (laughs) It's interesting. Yeah. The uh, first wave of bands has been announced for this year's Riot Fest Chicago. Headlighting bands include Jawbreaker, Nine Inch Nails, Queen of the Stone Age. Other bands include Paramore, Day to Remember, Taking Back Sunday, Newfound Glory, Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang. <laughs> Woo! Ain't nothing to fuck with. Nope. <laughs> Dirty Heads, Ministry, Bayside. I like Bayside. <laughs> <laughs> Say anything. <laughs> Guar, Andrew WK, and Sean. <laughs> Guar, that'd be awesome. I, w- I want to see Guar so bad again. Right. Although Guar without Dave Brocky is yeah. not really Guar. Let's just be honest. Well, I, at least they're trying. Yeah, but it's such a fun show. Though. I'm just happy I got to see Guar with Dave. Yes, I didn't. That was That's good sad. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got blood me, and all this shit all over me. Sprayed with his giant, his big cock. Dick. Yeah, his big giant <laughs> cock. Who, who's the the uh... the chick? I can't oh, remember her name. Yeah, it's a chick. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't remember her name. Is. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Did you know they're going to be at Warp Tour? 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. That's the main I reason I want to go. That and Hate Breed's going to be there. Hate Breed. I've seen Hate Breed too. Like There's going to be a lot of good bands. Yeah. I kind of want to see that because Nine Inch Nails is going to be there. But that's yeah. Dude, Nine Inch Nails puts on a hell of a show. Yes, they do. Yes, I saw them one do. year at Lollapalooza and it was amazing. Hell yeah. I, I think Andrew WK Chicago would be sweet. Yeah. Let's get this party started. Party, party, party started. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Nine Inch Nails with Queens of the Stone Age up Ooh, in Chicago. Yeah, it was nice. awesome. Seeing Queens would be awesome too. Yeah. Yeah, they put on a hell of a show too. And, uh, and Wu Tang, I mean, yeah, oh, oh yeah, I mean, shit, <laughs> ain't nothing to fuck with, man. Yeah. And then Day to Remember and Taking Back Who, Sunday. Who's all doing Wu Tang now? Like, it's been so many people, and I don't even yeah. know. Yeah, what don't version know. of what weird version of Wu Tang do you get? When yeah, you go see them? that's the well, I bet old Dirty Bastard. Sometimes it may be a surprise. <laughs> if, if Red Man and Method Man ain't in it, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they probably ain't gonna be. That's there. true. Uh, Paramore releases a new single, Hard Times, and announced new album After Laughter. Is it still? Is she still in it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as it's the same chick, then yeah, I, then yeah. it's crazy, dude. All the shit's so catchy. Yeah, it is. It's really it, yeah. I want to hate them, but I can't. Right. Like that one. It's that, just so poppy, but it's like now it's good too. Talking about butterflies. Got the butterflies. <laughs> Metallica's James Hetfield. Has... <laughs> Speaking of butterflies, Metallica's James. <laughs> he has lent his voice to the narration of "Addicted to Porn," "Chasing the Cardboard Butterfly," a new documentary. What is a cardboard butterfly? I don't know. <laughs> but I want to watch it. It's talking about being addicted to porn. That's going to be hilarious. And James Hetfield <laughs> narrating it. <laughs> Do you think Ooh, he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Watch that porn. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Uh, I was going to try to do the Gibby Fuel, Gibby Fire. I was, <laughs> was going to say, was gonna say Gibby Lube, Gibby something. <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure that out now. Yeah, yeah. Gimme Lube or Gimme Fire, like because your dick's burning from all the non lube. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> from all the non lube. I had to explain it and make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of. What, what, what kind of porn are you watching? No, you need the lube. He's going really so fast. Get, he's going to set got, that bitch on fire. You got fire. some friction, so you need some lube. He's like, I got 30 seconds to bust one out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Megadeth. Uh, <laughs> Megadeth announced summer tour with Meshuggah and Tesseract. Meshuggah's awesome. I would love to see Meshuggah live. Yeah. That would be really cool. I've seen Megadeth a couple times. Yeah. They were good. Very good. I actually saw them over at Really Brothers. Really? Yeah. At Really Brothers? Of all places, yet. Yeah. Wow. It was awesome. they were That's there not even with, a uh, thing anymore. Yeah, they were, they were there with Iced Earth. Iced wow. Earth. Iced Earth, yeah. Wow. It was actually really cool. It like an amazing yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill Murray, America's favorite weird uncle, is recording a classical album. The New York Times reports that the 66-year-old actor and comedian is working on a new project called New Worlds, in which he sings and performs... Literary readings over chamber music <laughs> from a trio led by cellist Jan Vogler. Vogler? Vogler? Yeah. It's Friday. <laughs> Bill Murray. It's Bill Murray. I'm going to get it. Narrating <laughs> literary readings. I wonder what he's going to read. Um, I think he's going to read the dialogue James from Jed, James Hetfield's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. narration. <laughs> No, he's going to read James Hetfield books by once Donald said, Trump. Books by Donald Trump. <laughs> That'd be a really hard read. <laughs> just be like the same sentence over he's and over. Backtracking like, himself every two, two sentences and backtracks to the Just first. over, over, over. <laughs> two plus two is four, but if you take away the two, then there's only two, so it's just two. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's, it's great. great. It's great. It's so great. great. It's going to be the best. It's one of the best <laughs> trade deals in the history of America. <laughs> Math. It's so great. <laughs> I love math so much. I use it all the time. I use it all the time. It's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> could you it's do fantastic. A, could, math is great. Could you do some math first, Mr. Trump? No, no. I'm no, real great no. at math. I just no. love math. No, no, no. no My publicist busy, will do that busy. for you. Let's talk about China. <laughs> Let's, Let's talk about the problem in North Korea. <laughs> uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Volume 2 was released today for digital download and physically will be released April 28th. Already downloaded it. Yeah, for some too. reason, <laughs> when you said physically released, I was thinking of like... Physically. Oh, the uh, sexual... Drive over no, to your house. Sexual no. section. I was down thinking of throat. Chris Pratt throwing CDs at people. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. That's way better than what I thought you were going to say. Here! Take it! This is for you! <laughs> 
This is for you. <laughs> Today marks the one year anniversary of Prince's death. Oh, that doesn't seem like it's been a year. Why? Why? Why'd you have to bring that shit up? It's important. <laughs> People are like still oh. freaking out about it. I just God. it feels like it was less than six months like ago. Four still months ago. Wound. It feels yeah. like freaking what's his name just died. Feels like Bowie just died. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bowie and Prince. Those were the two bad ones for me. Yeah. I, Bowie's a huge influence, and same with Prince. I mean, shit. Just geniuses. I'm not crying. I'm just trying not to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Fucking A. You saw what happened earlier. I had the nosebleed. <laughs> yeah, you were fucked up. All that coke. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Matt's on a three-day coke binge. <laughs> yeah. My nose is so blocked, I can't even get air in there. Instead of weed, he does uh, coke during coke. 420. Do what? You should try some coke to clear it Yeah, out. right. Just <laughs> fall right back out <laughs> with all the other snot. <laughs> 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 so we started this do thing where we do like we do album picks of the week oh, kind, of okay. bas- kind of basically what we've been listening to all week okay okay so you get those albums and you just like they're yeah. in your cd player or you're just you're stuck on them forever yeah. so uh what do you got because i don't really have anything this week <laughs> well what have you been listening to well yeah what are you listening to grant <laughs> i haven't really been listening to anything this week but I was going to say you should check out those little Dicky videos on... Oh, God. <laughs> those were hilarious. There so. you go. Little Dicky. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I've been watching those all afternoon. Little Dicky. I do enjoy Little Dicky. I didn't realize who not he was. Not the actual, like. literal Little Dicky. I don't, don't enjoy a Little Dick every once in a while. That's, that's, not, <laughs> that's not the case. You're like, different gonna, context. Different context. If I was going to have to... If, if you just started dick. listening right at that moment. Do what? <laughs> if I was going to have to do some dick, I would do a little, little dick. <laughs> yeah. You do a little dick, so you don't... If dick was, uh, was forced upon me, I'd prefer it to be a little one. They'd be like, which one do you want? I'd be like, the little one. The little, the smallest one you have. The angry little one over there. The ang- <laughs> Why is it angry? Why does it have to be Because it's little. little. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, I've been listening to this week uh, "The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me" by Brand New. Nice, nice. Came out in two thousand six. Nice. Uh, "The Devil and God Raging Inside Me" is their third studio album. Uh, Brand New is actually one of my favorite bands. They're like right up there with Thrice. Oh yeah. And August Burns Red, and um, a lot of others. Yeah. Um, Highly my, influential. Yeah. My favorite tracks from the album are "Sewing Season" and "Jesus Christ." Uh, the, yeah, that's probably the best. The album peaked at number 31 on the Billboard 200. Really? Becoming the band's highest charting album huh. at the that. time of its release. The I'm album surprised gives, it charted that high, honestly. Yeah. I figured they were more of an... Not to, not to say they don't deserve it, but it's just right. I thought that was more of an underground it's, I, it's That album's so good. It is. Um, the album dives into darker subject matters. Um God, I can never say this. I know the word, but I can never say it. Existentialism. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, death, depression, and religion. Ooh. Every time I'm like, go to say, I'm like, existential with him. Existential with him. So like, I say, Yeah, I need to try hard on the album of the weeks. Yeah. Definitely check it out if you haven't ever listened to brand new. I try to do something new every week that I haven't listened to as my album of the week instead of picking stuff that I know. Just trying to expand out, my. Well, I figured if I pick yeah. stuff that I really enjoy and I want people to hear, well, yeah, then that's always a good plan. Yeah, but I like to I like to make myself. I'm trying to stay away new. from thrice because everybody knows right. that's my favorite. And yeah, I was gonna throw in just a generic Blink One Eight Two <laughs> plug here, but I didn't. <laughs> Every week, Blink One Eight Two. What album? Take off your pants and jacket. <laughs> or Dude Ranch. Dude Ranch. Dude Ranch, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know. First date. Do, what, do you like the new stuff they're doing? No. Thank no, you. I Thank you. Right. I was going to say, I was going to throw listening out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, tried. something bad was going to happen. I tried listening to it. It's awful. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. It just sounds like a bunch of old guys trying to do the old shit. And, and it's way overproduced, too. Yeah, it like, is. I don't oh understand. Oh, my God. Ugh. Nominated for Grammys and shit. I mean, that's how most shit is nowadays. Extremely overproduced. 
I Unless swear getting, I'm not snorting coke. I'm just oh, like, he's doing huge <laughs> fat, you know, pinky finger size. Was, yeah. <laughs> what do you think the nails are for? <laughs> you got like those four foot long nails, those creepy ass curly. Yeah, ones. yeah. I got different cocaines. It's like a plethora. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I just rub it on my face. <laughs> Fuck, do this. Yeah. Let's look. Ah, ah, I'm tired. <laughs> it wore off. That must that must have been baking soda. Yeah, like I was listening to last week's episode. I'm like, man, it sounds like I'm doing coke every three seconds. <laughs> you gotta love this time of year when the allergies start kicking oh back in. Oh my god, it sucks when you have asthma too. Oh yeah, you gotta love this this fucking state. Yeah, fuck. Everything the starts state. blooming and it's just oh. Uh, Everything starts blooming and everybody's like, "Oh my god, go. it's beautiful." I'm like, "I'm dying." Tree pollen makes my I can't oh, breathe. Hell. Yeah. So I shouldn't bring some plants in here. <laughs> you can bring fake plants in here. Like a ficus. A ficus. Japanese ficus. Yeah. Hmm. Fuck the ficus. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think we should take a break? Sure. We should try that beer Cody brought. Yeah. Take a little promo break. It's brought to you by audible.com. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Adam. And we encourage you to come listen to a very special program. A podcast, unlike anything you've heard before. Right, Brian? What? No, dude. Everyone has a podcast. Everyone has a podcast. What's our show about? We talk about comedy, sports, science, topical news, meat hunting, music, podcasting, Matthew McConaughey, vision, health and fitness, horse cocks, technical difficulties, buffaloes, popular culture, maybe a little too much about the Asians. Oh, y'all army so cute and tiny. Edits. Check us out on Twitter at Ehap Podcast. Listen to us on iTunes and Stitcher, or through our website, www.ehappodcast.com. Contact us directly through ehappodcast at gmail.com. Like and subscribe on YouTube under Ehap Podcast. We're also on Facebook and Grinder. Really? We're on Facebook? I think so. Back at it. Back at it again. Back in the studio again. We're not going to do this. We're back! Watch <laughs> out! <laughs> We're not going to do this. <laughs> well, we just did it. Just happened. That just happened. <laughs> Shake and bank! Shake and bank! <laughs> do it again. I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't Ugh. need this no more. Don't need that no more. Don't need that no more. No, sir. So has anybody heard the new Kendrick Lamar? Mm, I was I no. was gonna vote. I was gonna, <laughs> I, I could have put money on that. You two hadn't heard the new Kendrick right. Lamar. But uh it's very, very good. Very, very good. Let's stuff. check it out. Yeah. What's oh, the yeah. what's the what's it it's called? It's called Damn. 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 I did see Well damn. I think well, I damn. did see that. Yeah. That. Yeah, it just came out not too long ago. It's not your it's not mumble rap. It's not you know, he kind of mumbles, but that's just how he is. Right. But, I mean, but it's not like... Uh, yeah, he's not purposely doing it. It's just how how he talks, you know? <laughs> uh, we were watching a video earlier. and started mumbling around. I was like, God damn it! Enunciate! She Panda, panda, panda. Mario Kart. Table. It's like they don't know what to say, so they're just saying random nouns. I, how, I love how real real rappers are going after him and telling them how they Yeah. Talk. I'm like, Yes! <laughs> do it it's so you not got rap you got some music for me today huh yeah yes yeah huh <laughs> so we got some music from him today oh <laughs> chris over there like fucking spacing what? it huh 420 you know <laughs> <laughs> Day <Hashtag late>. 420. <laughs> typical 420 blaze it fam blaze it <laughs> fam it up not famine famine like, just fam it up Famine, famine it up. <laughs> <laughs> all around, all around music. We support famine. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't condone famine. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> Grant condone. They say America is the fattest country in the world. So <laughs> we could probably use some famine around. Yeah. Here. So, uh, what song are we gonna hear? Uh, it's called "The Other Side of Midnight." The other side of midnight. Yeah, it's an it's a little bit older song. Than yeah, it, but it 
it, it's a good precursor into the new stuff that's coming out this year. Right. It's not quite ready, but it's coming. It's getting there. I had to build a computer. Yeah. Turns out, you know. That takes time. Yeah, and money. it takes time and monies and stuff like that. And when your old one takes a nice big shirt on you. Yeah. yeah. To build suddenly. One. Yeah, suddenly and abruptly. <laughs> I was looking at, I thought I wanted to build a computer the other day. They're so expensive. And then I looked at the price of, <laughs> right? the, You're of, like, nope. of, the, of the new i7. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I said, nah, I'm not going to do that. It's about 1300 after we were all said and done. But I, yeah. bought a, I bought a really beefy graphics card <laughs> just because I want to buy one and not have to buy one for a while. Right. It's about I guess that's worth it, right? Bucks on full graphics. fitty? Full fitty on a graphics not, card. Not you God, know. Not that you know. goddamn tree fitty. I can play that shit in 4K now. You there know. You, know. you know. Didn't building your own PC used to be cheaper than buying? Yeah. A yeah. It's not now so it's, much anymore. Now it's the other way. Yeah, it's the other way. That's what I was like. I'm Nobody buys package anymore. Yeah, I was gonna buy or unless I, it's an Apple. I was like, I think I'm gonna build my own. I, I used to always wanted to do it, and I, th- I thought it was cheaper. The yeah. best benefit is you know what every part is. You know if something yeah. goes wrong, you might be able to pinpoint That's it. True. Or you can upgrade shit because it's really hard yeah. to upgrade stuff on prepackaged. I figured because I got this old case, I was gonna just gonna tear it out and gut it out and yeah. use it. But I used my old case. Yeah. I don't know. It was like five hundred, four hundred something dollars just for the freaking process. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I thought about doing it. I was like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. <laughs> it's not really that hard to do. No, you put the part where it fits. Yeah, if you have to force they just it, plug it in together. Yeah. It's like a four D puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it's grown up Legos. So, anyways, yeah. back to <laughs> your song. We're gonna play. Yeah, we're gonna take yes. a listen and yes, listen, get to know you a little bit better stuff. after this.
that was awesome. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if we recorded. You're like, you like can't give me a weird look, like you were gonna push the button, but I didn't know if you pushed the button because I didn't hear you push the button, and you didn't give me the thumbs up that you pushed the button. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That'd be funny if you're like, no, okay, now I'll push the button. <laughs> I push the button. So the other side of midnight. Yes. It was my little foray in a disco kind of housey, yeah. jump up and down and have fun. When when you sit down and write all this stuff, do you have to yeah. be like a certain mindset or anything, or you just oh uh, sometimes just uh, a lo- lit get like, lit. I'll be honest, it's really easy to write a song when you're speeding balls on Adderall or something like that, or <laughs> drink a pot of coffee or something like oh, yeah. that. But I mean, to write a good song, you want to you want to be comfortable. Like, right. I like to let it come to me instead of trying to force. Anytime I try to force music, it sounds like balls. It's just you can tell it's overproduced. You can tell yeah. I'm trying to make. And... Yeah, I'm trying to make a good song instead of letting a good song happen. Right. Hmm. Yeah, it's the way to do it. I think I think a lot of musicians could probably agree on that. It, like, can't be like, all right, I'm gonna put this here, then I'll put this here, then I'll put this here, then I'm gonna yeah, fuck. I gotta start over. Yeah, it's not a puzzle. I mean, you can't force it. Right. You cannot force it. Just gotta let it happen. Yep. And if the song sucks, you gotta be you gotta be aware enough to go, okay, this sucks, and stop <laughs> <Yeah>. and, and <laughs> stop trying to beat a piece of shit into the ground. You know. The way I look at it, like if I'm trying to write something on guitar, if I write something, I like it. And if I can't remember it the next day, then it wasn't good enough. Yeah. 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 That's a big producer tip is to try to let your songs breathe for a day. Don't try, yeah. to, don't try to spend eight hours working on it because you're going to get ear fatigue. And that's a real thing. Yeah. Yes, it you is. Know, you'll stop yeah. hearing certain frequencies because of it. Yeah. I've had that happen. I was like, didn't I? Not know? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, didn't, no. I didn't hear Did that, I? that symbol resonate that loud last time. Like, what happened? Hit it harder. <laughs> Break the symbol. Just and yeah, just turn it up. You know, when just did I turn invite up the, the bongo guy over <laughs> for this one? He's he's forty bongo minutes late. Guy. Damn bongo guy. God damn it. We weren't gonna give him a name, but now we he's bongo fire guy. Him now we'll give him a name. I named him. Have to get a new one. Yep. <laughs> fucking bongo. You'd be like Steve. I need to see you for a minute. <laughs> what's what's up, boss? I gotta let you go as bongo guy. Yeah. <laughs> You, you were 40 minutes late yesterday, and you didn't even show up with the bongos. Yeah. Please don't. I got, I got kids to feed. <laughs> well, I, look, I, I've this is like the fourth time, so I got I got to let you go, man. <laughs> but please, sir. Uh, do I get a severance package? Or how's this gonna nope, work? you're completely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get to keep the bongo that's company property, so. But I bought the bongos. No. <laughs> no, you didn't flip it over. Um, it says company property. Yeah, if you could just exit out the back. Security's just don't, gonna, yeah, don't cause a scene or anything. Security's going to escort you to your car. Yeah, don't go out the front because the new guy's coming in soon. Yeah. So. Don't yeah. stop and talk to the employees. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want him to see your disdain on the face. And your things have If already you been could boxed cover out. your face on the way out, yeah, that just, would be great for company. Here, here's, here's the box that the bongos came in. Just put it over your face <laughs> as you walk out. You only get one eye hole, though. <laughs> Our scissors broke. <laughs> That's your fault too. <laughs> you have some broken scissors. They wouldn't have broken if I didn't have to cut the hole in the box to fire we'll you. Take so it out of your paycheck. <laughs> but sir, I work for free. Ah, shit. Well, you, you owe us money. <laughs> you owe us three fifty. Well, I'll see you in small claims court. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. Huh? I got out of hand real fast. <laughs> a year and a half later, you see him on the sidewalk playing a drum as a bongo. <laughs> it's all I have. Right, it's all I have. Fucking bucket. I know. <laughs> Playing a bucket. <laughs> this is the bucket I had my son's ashes in. I had to cremate him. It was the cheapest way. <laughs> it <Wow>. was. <laughs> <laughs> he got cancer That's after I got leave. fired of Bongo Guy. <laughs> that went from like. His, yeah, that, that leaped his mother left us wow. as we were both losers, and my son was taken following my footsteps. <laughs> oh shit! The saga of the so, bongo guy. Yeah, bongo guy. R.I.P. Rip. Rip that was a good run. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So yeah, uh, back on track, I guess. Yeah. So coffee or Adderall? That's a good way, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a terrible way to write music. Because then you I just don't, get I don't this. Coffee's good. Coffee's good, yeah, but as soon as you get into some sort of like, of yeah, coffee. some sort of stimulant into there, you're just going to sort of zone out and kind of yeah. forget fundamentals of music. You can just start work using it as almost like a puzzle. You start right. getting that that mindset. I mean, it's great for mixing or mastering, but actual engineering, it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. 
Have you ever, I, I do this sometimes, like, I'll, uh, I'll be sleeping, I'll dream mm-hmm. that I wrote music. Mm-hmm. Like, I can remember the chords yep. and everything, like the melody. I'll wake up, go to my guitar, and I can play it. Have you ever done that? No, I've never been able to remember it when I wake up. Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how I could do that. <laughs> That's some Rain Man shit. Right? Yeah. I wake up, and I'm like, guitar. Guitar. <laughs> Even in the middle of the, the night, angels sometimes just I'll, told like, me. I'll wake don't... up in the middle of the night and be like, i got to grab that guitar so I can record this. Well, shit, that's kind of cool. I sometimes like that. I'll go back and listen to it, and I'm like, all right, that's stupid. And sometimes <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I just made art from sleeping. Yeah, sleep's awesome. <laughs> it's like almost like, uh, what do they call it, elusive, lucid, lucid? Yeah, elusive dreaming. I want to yeah. be able to do that. Like I about said elusive dreaming. dreaming. Yeah, elusive dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch my dream. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch me. Y'all can't catch me. <laughs> Y'all can't catch me. <laughs> Shoot. You stop wasting your time. I want to be able to lucid dream, or right? Like, Control you can, your dreams. Yeah, yeah sometimes I can. It's weird. If like I know like, I'm dreaming. I've done it a couple times, I think. But that's you gotta have triggers. Yeah, you gotta like every time you enter in a room, you gotta flick the light switch. Yeah. So you'll start doing that in your dream because apparently light switches don't really work Dude, in your dream. In my dreams, there isn't uh, like light. They're so light yeah. fucking yeah. out of lights. Don't go out. Right. Stuff it's like always that. light. And like have a digital clock by you because numbers apparently appear weird. Mm. But I don't dream digital. like about rooms that I'm familiar like that. with. And shit. Dude, I dream about yeah. some weird shit. Like last night, yeah. I, I was dreaming that we were on a ski lift going skiing, and my like ski fell off. But I knew it was a dream. Huh. I See, was I like, I was like, that's fine. I'll get one up the top. That's why. I, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I never understood the lucid dreaming triggers like that. Like I don't know how that works. That's the weirdest lucid dream I've ever. Right. Heard. Just fuck it. Yeah. You know. It's fine. I know there's more at the top. <laughs> It's a dream. It's but I've never even been skiing either, so <laughs> it's weird. Just fuck it. I don't want to fly or nothing in my dream. I just want to be lazy. Right. Dude, I, <laughs> I, just, weirdest... I just want to dream that I'm sleeping. I have, I've had this reoccurring dream, but then like recently it changed into something new. Does that mean mm. something? I don't Development. Know. It does, I, I saw it means I, the Matrix is broken. Something. Yeah. So I used to have this dream. I've had it a few times where... I go to this skyscraper that my oldest brother lives in for some reason at the very top. What an asshole. It's like supposed to be the tallest, <laughs> supposed to be like the tallest building in the city. And, and you're you down go, there on the bottom? Well, no. So you go up and it's like really fast elevators and you go to the top. And at the top, there's like this thing where you can look down the center of the building all the way down to the ground. And it was yeah. something about in the kind dream. Kind of like a core. I always hated looking down the center of it or something. Huh. But then in my dream, it was like me and you or something. And we are up there, and I was going to show you this thing, but my we get up to the top, and my brother had moved out, and some old lady lived there, and I'm like, I just want to show my buddy this thing, and she goes, oh, I closed that thing up, and it was gone. And what? I'm like, oh, huh. huh? It was weird. Strange. Yeah. Maybe that means something that was stressing you out earlier in life. Yeah, is no longer there. <laughs> no there's longer no there? there's, that stress is no longer there. <laughs> I don't know. But I, then I woke up. I was I mean, like, some sort of change has happened. Yeah. yeah, some. It's you some wake up and you're symbolism. like, but I wanted to show him the thing. <laughs> I want to do the thing. What let me? Why won't that happen? <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, I didn't know. You wake up and you're confused. And you're like, what? I didn't know. I've had that before. I want change. Where you wake up yeah, from that's... dreams and you're just like, what the fuck? This is weird. Because we all live in a simulation. None of you are real. Hey, man, it's. Yeah. It's completely possible. Right. It's like Elon Musk even talked about that. Yeah. Kind of thing. <laughs> that we're a simulation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes I think sense. they all know. Maybe, you know, what would be crazy is if Stephen Hawking was like the king of it because he's pretty much a computer now. That's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> what if he was like. He's pretty much a computer. That what, feels good. Uh, what uh, if he was the king uh, of like this uh, matrix and, uh. and his way of fooling all of us into knowing and being that is by being in the wheelchair talking through a computer so we can't tell the difference. Yeah, but he's really hooked up to the matrix. He's kind of like yeah. Ultron. He's actually a part of the matrix, but. He's, he's connected not, to everything. You can't, you can't like pick apart his mannerisms and stuff because he has none. Right. Yeah, because he's not really human. And he's just like one of the smartest people of our like century so right <laughs> think about see, it see this is stuff think we about could, it he this is stuff we should be talking about all around weird he he got this <laughs> he, he got this disease that turned him yeah, into this bro. wheelchair where he had to talk through this scientific space age computer that was way ahead of its time when he invented it and that's like been his thing 
for this long now. Right. And he's so super smart and all this other stuff. <laughs> what if he is a part of the Matrix and he knows it and he's not telling us? That'd be a dick move. Or, yeah. yeah. That's, that's called being a dick. Or he invented the Matrix in the real physical world and now this is just him plugged into it. He's and like, I want to I see what I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is his way. Gets of in there and he's like, I stuff. fucked up me. Oh my God. That's his way of plugging into the Matrix right. so that people don't know that he's actually a real person outside with a computer. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha See? Great topics for all around weird <laughs> that we need to do. We need to do an episode three. We will. We will. We shall. We shall. Yeah. You're welcome to join on that if you want. Sure. I'm down for weird. <laughs> down. Let's get weird. Let's get weird. Let's get weird and take our pants off. Okay. I mean, Sometimes we do. So yeah. at, at this point, it's not really weird anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's just normal. It's just a Tuesday. So how far along are you on your on what you're working on now? Um, I got two songs in the works right now. I'd say probably Ooh. about 60% done on both of them. That's go. that's my problem. I start putting my fingers in a lot of shit all at the same time. Yeah, I should be doing <clears throat> one song at a time, but no, no, that'd be too, that'd pink. be way too. I try simple. to get as many fingers in there as <laughs> I can. Yeah, the pink I try to, yeah, <laughs> I try to get my whole fist in there. You know? <laughs> About down to you know midway through the forearm. You know, <laughs> see if I can just Make really, really get it, it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta feel it. Yeah. <laughs> huh. So. uh you brought with you today some interesting topics, actually, to talk about. Yeah. Since we're on the brink of the good old WW3. <laughs> WW3. WW3 live on pay-per-view this Sunday. <laughs> WW3. WWII. <laughs> North Korea. <laughs> North Korea. China. Russia. And the United States. Who's going to win? WW. Royal Street Rumble. Slash. I got my money. Can you, can you bet on this in Vegas? <laughs> I'm sure there is a spread. This Sunday. I'm sure there is. There's a like spread. a bunker in Vegas that like people are hiding like, in. Come on. Betting come on. on. All right, come on. No, that's the Denver airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that. Let's that's an all-around weird topic. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. No, the reason I bring up a, a war is because how music is impacted by war. Oh, yeah. You know, definitely during, like, Vietnam War and even during, like, Iraq War. We oh, had, yeah. We like, had yeah. some influences from Vietnam, CCR. Yeah, and... CCR and all the, all the Jimi Hendrix <laughs> yep. and all that good shit. All the hippie movement, yeah. you know? It's, it'll just be interesting to see how music's affected by um, this war, and you know, especially on the the global aspect, because we you know we're getting a lot of good music coming out of a lot of different countries nowadays. Right. And I think it'll be really cool to see how these countries that are war torn and have seen some pretty bad devastation, how they're going to come out of it and make some pretty badass music. Yeah, music. You know, torture and pain and all the bad shit <laughs> yeah. in the world makes some pretty awesome Oddly music. Oddly enough, yeah. there's always been music. There's always with suffering war. with, yeah. I mean, you watch movies, mm -hmm. even like Civil War, even before that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was always somebody playing violin or guitar something. or something, singing. It's so always now, there. The band, they got the band always go down with the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, the band went down with the Titanic. Which, yeah, yeah, that was a cool scene. Probably the best scene in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> they should have started playing some Megadeth. Some yeah. Symphony of Destruction. But you think with this war, everything's just going to be metal? Uh, maybe. <laughs> It'll probably be a lot of rap, too. Yeah. Probably be a lot, a lot of, of rap. mumble rap. You can't understand. Yeah, mumble rap. And, you know, well, it's because of the nuclear Percocet, radiation. Molly oh, yeah. Percocet. <laughs> Eating their brain. Yeah. Percocet. 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 Molly Percocet. 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 You, got, you got, got any pills? <laughs> <laughs> Did replace per set. That's all it is now. This is gonna be like perka 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 panda 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 panda. Yeah, perka panda panda perka 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 school boy. What is panda? It's that stupid designer song that was popular there for like two weeks. They're kind of like they're kind of like bears, but they're black and white. They're black and white. Neat bamboo and. Hey, did you see that fucking giraffe was finally born? Yes. Yeah, they, they looked like fucking Ace Ventura. Looked like Ace Ventura falling out of that rhino's ass. Yeah. <laughs> it just flopped like, on the really? ground. We're going to live stream this, huh? I would have yeah. laughed my ass off. It would have fell out of that. It's I amazing. Was like, there I was, was like, like four million be, people watching that. It would have fell out of that giraffe and break its neck. I was waiting for it to be still, stillborn. Like oh, someone oh running there God. and cut the feet off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God Turn damn it, April. Turn off, Karen. It's not your fault, April. That would have been hilarious. Oh, that would have been terrible. 
We were watching it. I would have been like, no, like, that's on, internet. Little, yeah. Uh, we were internet. watching it. And we're like, come on, little draft, move. <laughs> move, little draft. And just laid there. <laughs> yeah. Like, I knew it. And then it moved. I was like, damn it, I lost money in Vegas. <laughs> Four million people watched that. Yeah. That's I mean, sad. it's a cute little sad. thing. Have you seen it? It's a cute little draft. Yeah, it just looks it looks like a mini giraffe. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a baby giraffe. You know, whatever. I saw a meme. It's it was, cute. It was the uh, it's evo- cute. <laughs> saw a meme. It was the evolution of giraffes. Mm-hmm. It's because the trees kept getting taller, <laughs> <laughs> so their necks had to keep getting longer. <laughs> and they finally get their neck up there, and the tree grows again. It goes, "Not cool, bro." Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Makes sense though. Giraffes. They're basically like a small version of uh, brontosaurus. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it just amazes me what people can get into nowadays. What becomes the trend? What becomes yeah. the the new? It's the internet. Yeah, the new thing. Every, anything uh, can just take off like yeah. that. Does yeah. that giraffe uh, make up, make up it, for yeah. Harambe? No, no, <laughs> no. See, <laughs> nothing what, makes up for Harambe. The thing that I could, still feel the pain of Harambe. <laughs> the thing that picks <laughs> out what could come close to Harambe is a baby. We'll start Harambe. smashing shit. I wonder if they'll bring the giraffe to that zoo to try and get people's minds off Harambe. And <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Th- have they put an internet thing up yet where you can name the giraffe? I hope so. Because I hope that people. I, I hope it's giraffey giraffe. giraffe yeah. Gir- giraffey <laughs> no. McGraff face. Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> Bodie McBoatface. Yeah, Bodie McBoatface. Harambe two point zero. Yeah. Toop. Harambe <laughs> toop. Harambe toop. Harambe. We will never forget Harambe. Harambe. Never forget. Never forget it's one of the longest memes going. Yeah. 50 years from now, Besides there's going to be world. like, you're going to see something on TV like A&E, the story of Harambe, Harambe. how it changed the, the American culture. Besides being Rickrolled, besides, and bring the thing of that, go yeah. fuck yourself because you Rickrolled everybody yeah. not too long ago. Uh, by the yeah. way, 98.7 Rickrolls everybody once a day and they call it Seriously? Rickroll. Why? Yeah, I'm like, no, I, I love some Rick Roll. Oh, once yeah. It's one of my favorite. They once a day, though. Once a day. But once a day, that's that's kind of that's beaten into beaten really into the ground. Beating the deep yeah. Yeah. There's still something that I want to do that's on my bucket list that I didn't do at a at somebody's wedding because I got too drunk by the time <laughs> it was my turn to do the karaoke. I was gonna Rick Roll everyone at karaoke. Yeah. I got no drunk and to love. I got drunk and I was I was like, You gotta fucking Rick Ashley. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it. Yeah, yeah, that th- song. No, you see what this asshole did though? What? I got yeah. a new song out. Oh yeah, yeah. you son of a bitch. Hey, for fools, you bitches. Was I wasn't gonna fall for it. I was like, I was like, I, was oh, like, I might have a new song. Yeah, I was yeah, like, maybe it, it is. I By know, the end of the day, is. I was like, yeah. I was like, maybe I'm just being an asshole. Yeah, you're and maybe being like, an God asshole. damn it! No, no, I got. <laughs> no, we're gonna give you up. Was that April Fool's Day? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. guess I didn't realize that. But the Rick and Morty made up for it. Yeah, fuck yeah, it did. Yes. Yeah. I watched it twice. Oh well, my goddamn Szechuan sauce, Morty! Yeah, <laughs> nine seasons, Morty. <laughs> Even takes me nine seasons. Get my Szechuan. Oh jeez, Rick. Mulan, <laughs> Szechuan sauce, Morty. <laughs> I can't wait. When's the rest of the season coming? What out? is my purpose? You serve butter. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Club Pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the uh, Club Pal. God, I've watched this show like ninety fucking yeah. million times. I'm gonna buy the seasons because I think they're unedited. Existence is pain. <laughs> it is. And I find new things every time I watch it. There's something new. I'm like, holy shit! Can do. Can do. Come on do. down, and get your real fake doors. One eight hundred real fake doors. I think one of my favorite scenes. It was in season two. It was like one of the last episodes where. They're on that purge planet. Oh yeah, <laughs> and he has to sit there and listen to that guy's yeah. book. Purge and all, yeah. And like it, it starts off with like the flashback before the actual story starts. And he ends yeah. up like shooting the like he pushes the guy down the stairs. He's like, "How do you like that? You want to flash back to ten minutes before you were alive? <laughs> <laughs> and tell me how much you don't want to be dead." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, how Morty you just purged?" <laughs> That's real messed up, Morty. <laughs> Gotta put these seats way up your butt, Morty. (laughs) God dang. God dang. You also had uh, how uh, drugs influence music. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Drugs. Since it is the week of 420. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yes. That's that's the motto, right? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't have as much music today if you didn't have drugs. Look at all the grunge, like the 90s. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, even in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, I mean, even in the fifties, like sixties, seventies, Johnny been Cash forever. with all the. But I mean, you could even get pills. into why, like, speed metal, and you know why 
hair metal was a thing because of cocaine. Right. I mean, yeah. cocaine, <laughs> when you snort a bunch of cocaine, it actually reduces the ability for your ears to listen to higher frequency sounds. So higher frequency tones start sounding softer and softer. That's why you throw out any hair metal band from the 80s. The highs are super fucking loud. It's because yeah. they couldn't hear them because they were all banged out on cocaine. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're so all the way down here. <laughs> Yeah. They were all, yeah, they were speeding their dicks <laughs> <off>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like, fuck yeah, I'm so low. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need I gotta more. Fuck somebody right now. <laughs> I'll shove this guitar up my ass. I don't care. <laughs> metal. <laughs> Back then it was like, metal. Yeah. Oh, I want to rock. Rock. Din, 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 din. Twisted Sister kicks ass. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for D. Snyder, music would be a lot different today because he actually fought for a lot of laws oh, against yeah. uh, you know free speech and music. So to be able to cuss and say you know kill all the police, that you know D. Snyder has a lot of, lot to do with that. So. Yeah, I know that. God bless yep. him, right? Yeah, I know Eminem really didn't like him. Yeah, <laughs> like, like <it. laughs> that and um, what. Was it? John Denver had a lot to do with that too. Really? Yeah. That John Denver is full of shit, man. <laughs> Speck of the Rockies, a little more rockier than this. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. only human, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good wow. stuff. Yeah. Good old. But yeah, drugs. Drugs. Yeah. Drugs today have influenced music a ton, especially within like the EDM culture. Oh, yeah. It's all based around, you know, finding Molly and yeah. you know, taking a bunch of speed. Or... <laughs> I'm sure mumble rap has something. Yeah, mumble rap and <laughs> mumble raps mumble rap's like more like downers. opiates and yeah, yeah, stuff uh, like uh, that. Uh, it's like taking saying, drugs with your you know, jaw wired shut. You know, the lean and yeah. all that shit. <laughs> it's like it's like slowed down. Yeah. Come on, you're like, I just want to dance. Percocet and yeah. opiates, yeah. Chill, you're like Xanax, like, all that shit. Like, you, guys, yeah. you guys yeah, want to rap? <laughs> you guys want to rap? Just pretty much that entire little white song. Yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 You guys want to rap? Yeah. I, I, kinda. Shit. <laughs> I'll say like half of the words I want to say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go 50%. <laughs> Maybe 45 and anything Lil Wayne makes nowadays, you can't even understand him anymore. Really? All you can understand is him sparking the blunt at the beginning. He does that every time. <laughs> And then he starts mumbling. You can't understand a fucking thing he says. What the fuck is he doing mumbling now? What's that all? Why? He, I think he's too fucked up. Yeah. I think he's just too fucked up. He fucking can't even articulate way. anymore. He used to be good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Bird Bird man. Man. Shit. <laughs> 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 fucking bird man. What happened to that guy? I, I don't. <laughs> Flew south, I guess. <laughs> He's got to be in his mid fifties by now. Yeah, He's probably not doing shit. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bird man. Well, yeah. Well, so when you think, uh, I mean, can't rush it, but. Definitely, when you get one of those finished, this summer, come back on this summer. It will be this summer coming soon. Soon, <laughs> trademark. So, and you got the, you got the uh, you got your music on SoundCloud. Oh yeah, so SoundCloud dot com slash Cody dash Blevins. You can also look me up on the Twitters. There you I, go. I post a lot of a lot of stupid, useless shit on Twitter, but uh, it's uh, Mister Code Blue. M I S T E R Code Blue. There we uh, go. Also on the the Instagrams, uh, same thing, Mr. Code Blue. Oh, the Graham ass? Crackers? The Graham Crackers. Also on the Snapchats. Ooh. Uh, there I you think go. It's the Code Blue. I think. The Code Blue. 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 Yeah. I think we've said it quite a few times, but he does. He, yeah. We, and if you forget we, all that, uh, the link's yeah, in the show links. description. Well, we use a song for yeah. our intro yes. song every week. So, yes. It's so happy when I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yay, that's me. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> One random night, I made that. Accomplishment. <laughs> Moving on up in this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I appreciate keep... you guys having me on, though. I, know yeah. I enjoy it every time. Talking I like having this, you on. The stupid music stuff. So. Oh, yeah. I have to join you on some weird stuff too. I'll we definitely talk some, we need a guest for our weird. Yeah, stuff. we'll talk about some. I think we're looking at that one for Friday. 
yeah. Are you yeah. working Friday? Uh, yes. But we'll we'll work around it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll work around it. I don't work all day. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> they generally He's don't like, have that's to what I wanted to hear. All day, so. Hey, D. <laughs> you, you, you don't have to. Right. I, I don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have It'd be to. great if you did. But you kind of want to. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about Flat Earth. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, about... no, screw you if you believe in the Flat Earth. That's the so fucking stupid. shit is the worst so fucking conspiracy on this. It is. It is. I'd rather believe in chemtrails, and I definitely don't believe in chemtrails. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate chemtrails. I would yeah. like to see someone convince me that the Earth is flat. Yeah, well, you can. You can. Or, or try to. Yeah. Because I'm just going to laugh the entire time. Yeah. You can literally, anybody can build a device with a camera on it to go and, up yeah, high enough and fly to see into the, the stratosphere. Right see now. the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You could yep. tie your iPhone to a big enough balloon and they would do it. <laughs> they did that on a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the attack. They, oh, yeah. um, they actually did that and, uh, sh- because they wanted to play a Game Boy in space. Ah. So they, they strapped a Game Boy Advance to a just a, this little styrofoam box that had a GoPro on it and was viewing the screen of the Game Boy and behind it so you could see. And it got high enough. It was in the stratosphere. You could see the curvature of the Earth. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's come, there. Come the fuck on, people. I never it's 2017. Understood. We got bigger problems. What do you believe? Do you Earth believe swim. soccer balls are flat too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood the chemtrails either because why? What? What possible reason? It's physics, guys. It's physics. Would right. you have to put air chemicals? Simple physics. Chemicals to kill us all hot. in airplanes. Air is cold. Engine hot. Right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get an airplane. Steam. I'm gonna put a chemical on it <laughs> to spray Stem. things thirty thousand feet in the air to spray <laughs> chemicals on you. Yeah. yeah, over fucking Iowa. <laughs> over Iowa, <laughs> like there's somebody up there, like fuck Iowa. You're like the, the only. People, then they fly over Indiana. Fuck Indiana. <laughs> you're like the only fucking house but in a pe- ten mile radius. But here's yeah. the kicker: like, people oh, in Indiana are like, me. yeah, fuck, fuck Indiana. <laughs> Burn this bitch to the ground. I don't care. Kim no, trails. No one needs <laughs> corn. Trails. You can grow corn everywhere. Like but Bush, was... Bush did 9/11 and all that shit. Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's true though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Cody. Love you all. <laughs>